down among the pines I want you stuffed into my mouth Hold you down and tear you open Live inside you But love, I never hurt you But I'll grind against your bones Until our marrows mix I will eat you slowly The whole of our love Never so much blood pulled through my veins Oh The whole of our love Never so much blood Boo! Jesus, Stan, don't flank me like that! All about them bringing up you look so tense. What's wrong? Let's just say this is no routine routine. I can barely land the keys in rehearsals, let alone standing the charts on the show next week. I'm so anxious about the performance. It's not like myself or the Queen are attending. Like hell you're not! Merely teasing. Of course I'll be there, so no need to worry. What kind of miscreant do you take me for? You promise? I swear on my life, Gracie. Now, I gotta go, so you two can practice. I'll meet you later outside. Okay, thanks Stan. What are you? The best. What kind of best? The best kind of friend you'll ever have. We're all ready to start. Okay, I'm coming. You just can't appreciate the gift that is women. Plain and simple. Oh yeah, that must be the answer. Given that you've received many a gift in your time, so I wouldn't dare question your wisdom. Damn straight. <laughs> Look, you bring enough womanly charm into my life, so I don't see the point in surrounding myself with a herd of girls. Are you describing yourself as a lone sheep? It appears I am. <laughs> anyway, what ghostly figures are we unburying this week? Well, we are indeed spoiled for choice. There's Elizabeth Boyle, uh, Nyan Takian, Charles Melville, although he's not really reliable, and Boyle. Oh, the headless slum was always a favourite of mine. What about the Obeke of Japan? You... You've been looking into ghost stories. Well, I suppose I should sooner or later. After all, a certain friend of mine is rather interested in them. Truth be told, I always thought I wore you out with them. Well, it was a bit much at first, I'll admit, but now it's like we're going on little adventures every other week, and I love that. Mm, Japan it is, then. There was this one story I came across the other week. It seemed pretty out there. Let's look around. more about this slip mouth woman you read up on yesterday. So according to the book I read, around the Edo period, the wife of a samurai was seen cheating on her husband. So he got his sword and sliced her mouth from ear to ear, asking, who will find you pretty now? She returned as a tempered ghost not long after she died. Christ, it's a bit extreme, isn't it? She did return, no wonder she was angry. Rumour sightings started around 1979 in Japan and caused panic amongst preschoolers in particular. What intrigued me the most was that the increased police patrol organised groups for teachers to take home an escort. So there must have been some suggested evidence for them to go for all that effort. Mm, right. Why preschools? The sightings say she was seen chasing children on their way home, asking them if they found her pretty and killing them depending on their answers. Were there any answers that got him out alive? After all, how do we know about any of it? Mm, not many answers per se. If you said no, she'd kill you there and then. If you said yes, she'd smile and ask you again. If you said no that time, she'd slice your body in two. If you said yes, 
she'd take her time to carefully cut your mouth like hers before following home, where'd she kill you? Mm, the only alleged ways out was to confuse her with odd answers or by throwing something at her feet for her to pick up for you to run for it. And you want to go looking for this thing? Absolutely. <sighs> you do realise there's one main issue with that, right? Mmm... Mm, we're not in Japan. Come on. You need to dig your head out of the graves for a little bit. What? Come on. Stop being so selfish and delve into my interests. Stand. If you get caught, you could possibly be arrested for breaking and entering, not to mention trespassing. It wouldn't be the first time. This is serious. You shouldn't be risking a criminal record for some experiment. Grace. The likelihood that this will happen is minuscule, and if you climb that fence, you could get hurt, not to mention what your parents will say if you get caught. Grace, the amount of people that ridicule and undermine me for my interest in paranormal activity, my own parents, teachers, just about anybody and everybody looks down on me for it. If I can prove I mean, generally gather evidence. That's all well and good. They'll be off my back. All right. Guess I better go with you to make sure you're careful, huh? Are you sure? I'd never forgive myself if you got in trouble. I'll keep us both out of trouble, don't you worry. Now, go home and get some sleep. Big day tomorrow. All right, father. See you at the school by four. No worries. Where are you heading off to all spooky looking? Just off to meet Stan. Well, you're not going to be out late, right? Because it gets dark in a couple of hours and Dad won't like letting me out for Look, past that time. I'll try and make it back soon, okay? So, no promises? Well, I'll be back around nine. Well, looks like I'm hanging with you then. No. Chris, you really don't need to do that. No, I know, but I want to. And besides, I've not seen Stan for a while either. No, you're not coming, alright? I'll be back before you know it. You're not coming! There's no way Hayley let you get away with that. Of course not, that's why she never found out. <laughs> of course she didn't. Well, this is the part where we part ways, my dear. Oh. I'll show you clear about your return then, Ghostbusters. I'll keep my phone on me, so just message me in case anything happens, okay? Okay, will do. Be careful, you two. Don't worry about us, worry about Kuchisaki. Bodies if you get caught. Oh yeah, because sharing a cell with my brother has only ever occurred in your wildest dreams. You know it. <laughs> mm. Quick toilet break. Back in a few. Okay.
sounds driven me mad. Grace, what's wrong? What, what's happening? Grace. <laughs> You're a ghost love, nightgown flowing, your body blue and walking along the continental shelf. You are a dream among the sharks, beautiful and dark suspension and you bury me in the ocean floor beneath you where they'll never hear us scream oh the horror of our love never so much blood pulled through my veins oh the heart 